If you are stressed and overwhelmed and have no idea how to complete tasks, then this video is just for you. Did you know stress and being overwhelmed comes from having a lot of tasks to complete all at once? Not only will this video help you not be stressed, it will also help you not be overwhelmed. And if you stay towards the end, there will be a bonus tip on how to properly plan and prioritize your day. Being overwhelmed does not happen by accident and happens when we least expect it. It takes time to recognize it, but it also takes awareness to recognize what we're feeling. Overwhelm is a feeling that has to be learned, <laughs> Study and understood. I'm starting to create videos in a different way where I've never created before. So now I have to be creative. I have to think. I have to be okay with being uncomfortable. My creativity comes from doing something that would get me out of my comfort zone. But the thing that I'm learning is that your creativity gets open when you are uncomfortable. And once you're uncomfortable, you are aware of your current state in mind because you are putting yourself there. You are putting yourself in a position to where if you are going to grow you have to do it when you're uncomfortable in order to grow I have to be creative not only with the topics and the videos but with myself I have to be open to learning more about who I am and what I can do at this moment it's okay to put yourself out there and as you're putting yourself out there what is the reason behind it once I understood that me being overwhelmed was a feeling because I'll try to do multiple things all at once nothing got done the five things that I want to do today was to finish my school application create a video look at some videos about youtube this third thing i had to do the fourth thing i had to do was study sales material that's four and the last thing that i had to do was uh what bro what are you talking about man i forgot the last one but that's okay that's okay learning and being aware of what you can complete right now matters your focus starts to narrow down just a little bit more it's important to recognize and be aware of who you are once you are aware of who you are now you can focus on the task now you can focus on the goals now you can focus on one thing at a time focus on one thing at a time comes with strategy that's the next point to hit on how to develop a strategy to focus on one thing so first i was watching this video with mel i forgot her last name but i was watching this video and she really explained that you have to take what's in your mind and put it onto paper it's so simple it costs you nothing you can do it several times a day anybody can use this because you have to visually see what you're doing for today or what you're thinking or what your thoughts are you have to take your thoughts out of your head and put it on paper because once you put it on paper you can see everything that you have thought about well how she labeled is called a brain dump you take everything out and write it down what needs to be completed write down what you want to complete and prioritize everything everything does not need to be completed today because you won't have the time to prioritize what's most important start with the most important then what doesn't get finished today we can do tomorrow take your time with it because once you start to become aware of the work that you're completing you don't want to do more of the one because the one is getting done focus on one and understand that this one can be completed before I go to the next one. the last thing that I wanted to do I can't even remember but I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I wrote it down it's not in my head no more I have it on paper I have it on the computer I can see it I can visually see okay I need to do these five tasks I completed four the fifth one I can do it tomorrow first thing tomorrow morning I'm aware that it takes time but it's not the end of the world if I don't complete it because my most important thing my priority things is completed that's why it's so important to develop a strategy around your day your planning your, your prioritization so that way you're not stressed nor overwhelmed you control that by planning once you plan you learn how to prioritize what's most important if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe make sure you subscribe make sure you subscribe because this channel is going to help you grow into the best version of, of yourself my goal and my mission is to help you believe in everything that you're doing to become the best you the third point I want to hit on is long-term practice it takes 21 days to build a new habit in order for you to remain focused on the one goal but focusing on one goal is going to take 21 days because we have to study it we have to learn it we have to practice it we have to be okay with messing up we have to be okay with embarrassing ourselves because once we learn we're building a habit the habit only gets built from effort the reason why this is so important because we are stressed and overwhelmed because we're not aware of ourselves being aware of yourself has so many rewards to it because it helps 
helps you focus on things that matter. It matters because you are the person that controls the narrative and create everything that you would like to create for yourself. See, with me, creativity is a problem because I never had to think that creative. I never had to open my mind creatively because it, it wasn't something I was used to. It wasn't something that I was aware of. It wasn't something I practiced. Now that I'm doing this, now that I'm creating new types of videos, I have to unlock this creativity by building a habit by doing it for the next 21 days. It's only practice when it's learned. And once it's learned, it's perfected every single day. Something can be better. Something will be better you will be better because of the time that you have put into yourself. Focus on the next 21 days to complete three tasks for yourself because if you have three tasks a day that you can complete, you'll feel so much better and not be stressed nor overwhelmed because you're winning. You're seeing results. You're seeing growth. You're seeing progression because of the time and effort that you put into three things versus 10. And 10 is not being completed because you have too many things on your plate. Long-term practice Practice has to be understood because you're practicing for tomorrow and tomorrow is preparing you for your future. Your future matters. My creativity comes from me learning who I am, what I want to practice, what I want to focus on. I can only focus on one thing at a time as I'm focusing on one thing at a time. I have to do it for the next 21 days. The long-term practice is to identify three goals, three tasks that you like to complete for the day. Once you complete it for the day, learn that it's okay to recognize your growth and celebrate your wins. Now it's time to recognize your wins. It's time to recognize your growth. It's time to recognize what you have been through, but you can only do that when you start to create a new habit. The new habit is so important because putting myself out there helps me be more creative with making videos. Helps me think outside the box and let the box be something unique, something special to me because I've learned how to focus on one thing per day. So for the next 21 days, focus on three tasks that you complete per day because when you see the wins, when you recognize the growth, when you see and experience what you are creating as this new habit, you will see the process behind practice. Practice has to be learned and executed every single day. Because when the 21 days pass and you're able to focus on one goal at a time because you have three tasks to complete for the day, you won't be so stressed and overwhelmed because you're more aware of yourself. Being aware of yourself helps you learn how to focus on one goal at a time. Because when you stack your wins, you do it more often. When you see and, and, and recognize your results, your results come in more frequently because of the effort that you put in into yourself. The process is you doing it. It's just starting. You don't need all the answers. The bonus tip is to write down three goals, three tasks, three things that you need to do today and prioritize it to complete three for the day. Once you learn how to do it, you can do it more often. If you enjoyed this video, how to handle your stress and not be overwhelmed, make sure you watch this video for more videos on how to walk in your purpose and be the best you.